I call the honourable member, the honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, thank you, M Mr. Chairman, and that's very helpful because that is my name. So it's a very useful thing. Oh, I'm glad um, that. for you to do. Can I? First of all, express a little bit of surprise that the Minister who's in charge of this legislation isn't taking a call. When bills go through under urgency, unless they are urgent, then it's my view that the Minister should address not only the substance of the legislation, but also the reason that the bill is being put through the House under urgency. Uh, the Select Committee, which I have the privilege to chair, Government Administration Committee, spent a lot of time and effort rigorously considering the Statutes Amendment Bill, which had already gone through a very good process of um, deliberation amongst parties, and that's, that's usual and appropriate for a Statutes Amendment. It should be non-contentious, and this bill, um, with the work that we put into it, has been returned to the House, I think, in a better condition than we were given it. However, we're now required to pass it under urgency, and I think the public of New Zealand just need an explanation for that. The substance of the bill itself, uh, Labor totally supports. Our Select Committee made some uh, alterations to it. They are outlined in our committee report, so I've got no need to go over them, but I just think that it's really the mandate the responsibility of the Minister to explain why, after such good process up to this point, that we are considering it under urgency. I assume that it's the incompetence of the House management of the Honourable Jerry Brownlee, but if there is some different explanation, then I look forward to the Minister either confirming that by him not contradicting me or giving a different explanation for the mismanagement and therefore this bill coming through under urgency. Mr Chairman. <laughs> the, don't look so surprised. So it is Jerry's mismanagement. I call the Honourable Trevor Miller. Well, well, Mr Chairman, I do want to thank the...